WhiteCataractCoach.com. White Cataract Capsule Rex's options. What's your preference? Just do it. Can't open it first. Zepto link. You tell me. Now here's a case where the surgeon is just going to go for it. Not an experienced surgeon for sure. Very experienced. So starting off there, you can see a little decompression of the bag, a little bit of lens milk or liquefied lens cortex coming out. And getting the Rex is going here, it's going to want to run out. Look at that. Having to use essentially tangential pull here, you know, that Brian Little rescue maneuver just to get your Rex is completed. So if you just try to wing it or just do it, sometimes you're going to have this challenge here. And if, even if you're an expert surgeon, it can be difficult. That's not the prettiest Rex is, but at least it's intact. So this patient should do just fine. But there may be other ways of doing this. So you can decompress the bag here. In fact, here's a good time to rock that nucleus, get rid of that uh, pressure gradient that's even behind the nucleus now. Here's some more viscoelastic. Yeah, maybe rock the nucleus a little bit. Let's complete that rexus. But it can, you can see here, just doing it, just winging it, it's a little stressful in these white cataracts. And if you're not an expert surgeon, it could run out pretty easily. So here, grabbing that, and then let's get this thing completed. And ooh, almost, do it quickly before it runs out. And almost, 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 and he did it, woof, close. Now here's another one, this surgeon said, hey, the trick is in his hands to do a can opener first. So look at that, poking in with a can opener style. So do a mini can opener first. And by creating mini areas of, you know, run out edges essentially, then you spread the forces all around instead of at one spot. And then you saw there at the center, kind of rocking the nucleus around. So if can opener first to decompress the bag, and then rock in the nucleus, a little more, oh, aspiration, look at this. So using the BSS cannula to aspirate out some of this liquefied lens cortex. Look at that, what an interesting idea here. Remember though, the liquefied lens cortex is also behind the nucleus, between the nucleus and the posterior capsule. So I'm not sure you'd be able to access that, but maybe just rock the nucleus around. And now, let's see here, an extra paracentesis opposite the main incision, just to give yourself 360 access. So now, look at that, removing a lot of this lens um, cortex that's been liquefied, 360. At this point, looks like now you can pretty much do a good capsulorexis without the stress. Interesting idea, I do like it. So that's good. Now we've featured many videos about different techniques. I think the consensus for among most people is to do some sort of double rexus technique, and you can think this is a variation of that, because now the rexus can be completed here, and as you go around here, that looks pretty good. You get a nice rexus, and a little more viscoelastic is always a great idea. We'll get that completed, and there you go, a nice rexus. So that is also a reasonable technique. Start with a can opener first, and then transition to a capsular rexus. Now let me show you this Zepto device. You've seen this before. This is a device which is completely automated. So you collapse this ring. It's going to create a 5.2 millimeter capsular rexus. Different sizes are available. Center that up there. That looks great. As that's centered up, you apply a little bit of suction. This is all done with your Fago foot pedal. Hey, let me tell you about the Cataract Coach podcast. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. Its sole purpose is to make you a better surgeon. And I promise you will absolutely love it. Now let's get back to our case with Zepto. And yes, I'm a consultant for their company. Now, four milliseconds is all it takes to create this opening. So apply suction. There it is. It's done. Because it's so fast, it really doesn't give any time to get any run out. So you won't get any run out there. Now you can see all the liquefied lens cortex. That lens milk is coming up into the anterior chamber. And now there is the capsule. Remove that. That's it. It's literally that easy now. And so this device obviously makes it simple. And again, I do consult for the company. And it is a useful device, and I use it a lot for these white cataracts. Here at the end of that same case, this is the same case, removing the viscoelastic and center up that lens. And look at that. What a really beautifully centered lens. And good overlap, 360. And a strong edge there. That capsular opening has a very strong edge. And so, again, we didn't have any issues here. So you can remove your viscoelastic, finish up the case. But leave a comment below. What is your preference for an intumescent white cataract? What are you doing? I showed you Zepto, I showed you can opener to Capsorexis. We showed you just go for it and get it done, but be careful because it wants to run out. We've talked about double rexus technique. We've talked about needle decompression. We've talked about all kinds of techniques and tr um, tricks here. We even had Juan Baye send us a video about how to do the Blanco puncture technique. Again, all reasonable options. You just got to decide which one are you going to do. And obviously different price points for each of these. 
And I think as, as a surgeon, it'd be helpful if you're used to, uh, or have experience with all of them. Having all of them in your toolbox makes it nice when you have a very tough case. You can really pick and choose and do what everything is best. Also, remember, if you're a young surgeon, there's so many great resources on cataractcoach.com, the website. If you leave here for a moment, leave YouTube, go to Cataract Coach, get the free PDF book, get the free curriculum series, check out the podcast. You know what I'm saying.